Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. We are not a consignment dealership. We own all of our vehicles. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hangsters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. Um, we leave our YouTube videos up at all times for you guys to watch. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, um, comes down off our website, letting you know it's no longer available. We also have an Instagram page now where we are going to be giving you guys a sneak peek of what's to come before these videos are shot and the, before the still photos are taken. So if you're looking for a new particular car, check out our Instagram. You might be able to get a jump on it before anybody else does. Um, <clears throat> part of the popularity right now in terms of, um, you know, collector cars, um, muscle cars, uh, big bodied SUVs, Broncos, Blazers, so on and so forth, um, are these big Chevy SUVs. You know, they're popular today. There's the, the Tahoe is a strong market right now, right? Uh, the GMC Yukon, the uh, Cadillac Escalades, um, you know, they're re-releasing the Hummer. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm with big bodied SUVs right now. And today we have uh, quite the vehicle, uh, 1987 Chevrolet Suburban. <clears throat> uh, very unique uh, ride here that we're going to show you. Um, this one happens to have a 454 in it. Um, power brakes, power steering, and yes, air conditioning. Um, under the hood looks good. Uh, firewall looks good. Top of the wheel wells look good. A lot of new components under here. Um, we're going to close the hood. We're going to show you the uh, body of this big red machine. Do have a hood scoop here in the center. Two little tiny uh, maybe uh, chips right there out of the paint in the hood. Uh, front grill looks to be fantastic. Same thing with the front bumper and even low there on the lower spoiler underneath the front bumper. All of them look, look good. Um, Goodyear radial tires on the, on the truck. Real nice paint um, all the way around the vehicle. Big vehicle, big red vehicle. Um, we're going to show you all the way around. Paint's really good on the, on the truck. So, uh, Front fender, no uh, blisters, cracks, uh, spider webbing, anything like that. Uh, door fitment's good, both uh, front and rear of the door. You got the uh, collapsible mirrors there. Normally those are chrome. These ones happen to be painted the same color as the vehicle. Uh, dark tint all the way around. Uh, window glass is in good shape on all panels, um, including the front window there. Take a look in the vehicle. It has an upgraded uh, Silverado type style seat, uh, leather. Uh, two captain's chairs there in the front. Uh, your classic Chevrolet uh, mid 80s, you know, late 80s, early 90s steering wheel. Uh, brand new updated uh, digital gauge package inside the vehicle. Check it out. It is a five speed manual transmission on this truck. I told you it's unique. Uh, door panels are in great shape, plastic, uh, armrest, uh, lower on the uh, door there, the carpeting. You got your uh, rubber bow tie floor mats and underneath the floor mats, the uh, carpeting. Look, it's brand new. It's literally really nice. This is something we're not used to, opening four doors, right? So you'll see you got a bench seat there in the back. Uh, again, carpeting all throughout the entire vehicle is in great shape. Um, all the uh, interior is newer. Really nice interior in the uh, vehicle. It's not from 1987, tell you that. Uh, shooting down the side of the truck, all the uh, you know body panels are good from the huge rear quarter to the uh, rear door to the front door. All the body alignment's good. Door gaps are good. <clears throat> Same thing on the rear. Um, you have your uh, dual doors that open. Chrome on the rear bumper is fantastic. Uh, duals sticking out below the lower bumper there. Take a look in the back. Okay, so we are looking in the back. Um, you do have the collapsible rear seats that do come out. I did collapse this one down and try it. They, they both pull out there, so if you want the rear for storage, you have it. If you want the third row seating, you have that option as well, and you'll be able to see all that in the still photos. 
Um, a lot of, you know, different belts that have been put on the truck, different receipts. Um, you know, let's see here. There's nothing in here of significant, um, like engine rebuilds, training rebuilds, anything like that. Just some miscellaneous uh, receipts, um, some moldings. If you want to put the moldings on the vehicle, they are here. We are not going to put them on. We are going to leave them in there. Um, you know, all the body moldings that go around. Uh, you have headphones that are still in the packages. Uh, those are for that rear TV monitor thingamabobber that flips down in the back. So. Um, now, I have not tried to turn that on or mess with it. I don't know how it works, um, you know, but, but it is equipped with that. I don't know if it works or not. Um, I'm not going to get into that. Again, we don't do anything with radios. Uh, we're, we don't have car audio here, and we certainly don't do anything with television sets, DVD players, PlayStations, anything else this thing might be equipped with. But uh, you do have that there in the back, and it appears to be newer. Um, and that's that. Door fitment down the uh, passenger side, same as the uh, driver's side. Everything lines up nice and neat. Fuel door, I'm sure there's a, a big fuel tank on this thing. Uh, all four wheels appear to be newer. They're in great condition. You'll be able to see that closer in the still photos. Again, opening up the rear door. The uh, passenger side rear is the same as the driver's side. Armrests are in good shape. Uh, overall quality of the door panels in good shape. This is funny, right? When they used to put ashtrays in the back seat of cars. <clears throat> now there's not even an ashtray in the car, period, but kind of got those in the doors there. You know, even like in the door sills and like look at the weather stripping. It's all newer. Somebody spent a lot of money on this thing. You couldn't build this thing for what we're going to retail it for, I can assure you that. Um, same thing on the uh, passenger side front here. Um, look, Take a look at the door panels. Again, you'll be able to see them in the still photos, but uh, the plastic's nice. Uh, vinyl on the armrest, nice. Carpeting on the bottom of the door's in great condition. Um, very, very minimal wear on the seats. You know, a little bit of cracking there where you slide your butt in and out, uh, both on drivers and passenger side. You know, just your standard leather wear, but overall very nice condition on the seats. They're not uh, ripped or torn or discolored. They're in uh, nice condition. Even all your marker lights and stuff look to be brand new. Nice looking truck. A lot of money spent on the truck. Bowtie emblem right in the center of the grill. Um, the mileage on the vehicle is exempt, um, so we don't know what the true mileage is. And when I say exempt, it means on the title it says exempt rather than actual miles. Um, I can't tell you when the paint was put on. I can't tell you when the motor was rebuilt. Um, any of that stuff, I don't have any documentation on that. But uh, I can tell you, I can assure you, there's been a lot of money spent on this particular vehicle, and it's all been fairly recent. You can tell there's a lot of new items on this truck, including uh, the, the digital upgraded dash um, all the interior the paint is absolutely you know i showed you a little spot there on the hood other than that i don't see any flaws in the paint whatsoever it's a big vehicle but um i didn't see anything i've, I've gone over it high and low so we're going to take this big machine outside right now we're going to stick it on the rack and throw it in the air and then we'll check out what the underside of this uh, 1987 chevrolet suburban looks like underneath our 1987 chevrolet suburban front disc brakes Mentioned earlier in the showroom that it has a 454. Take a look up at the oil pan. I know the cross member's in the way and I know there's a lot of black up there. Bottom of the oil filter's nice and dry. Uh, oil pan gasket's nice and dry. Uh, no oil splashing on the headers is indication of any type of oil leaks. Um, bell housing's dry. Looks to be in good shape. Now, when I stand underneath these vehicles and I tell you guys, we, we try to stick the camera as close as we can to everything up there, the oil pan, the training pan, um, you know, and, and show you exactly what we're looking at. With that being said, these are old cars, okay? They are going to leak. It's going to happen. So don't think that that's not going to be a norm when you're dealing with a classic car. Now, if you're down here in Florida or you're in a warmer climate and you're driving these things year-round, um, odds are you won't have as many issues. 
But uh, for those of you up north in New York, New Jersey, uh, Ohio, PA, uh, if, if you're storing this particular vehicle, maybe with this particular car you're driving it year round, but if you're putting it into storage, um, those things sitting for four, five, six months at a time, they're going to uh, develop leaks. There's gonna be gaskets and O-rings and seals that are gonna dry out. It's gonna happen, they're old cars. So just to tell you that. Frame rails on the car are in good shape. Cross member holding up the transmission is in good shape. All the exhaust system, I believe it's a uh, flow, yeah, flow master exhaust system, uh, flow master mufflers, um, all in, in good, good condition. Check out the size of those drum brakes in the rear. My God big big rear end um, take a look up at the uh, rear of the Suburban you can see the uh, <clears throat> the pans up there normally we don't have a vehicle this long to show you however uh, this one you can see up there it's all nice and solid up there uh, same thing with the rear frame rails you can see where the you know when the trucks on the ground uh, the rubber bumpers there for the rear end frame rails all in good shape I'm gonna walk around this thing rather than trying to duck under it. Uh, rear end, you see it's all nice and dry. Uh, gas tank, good shape, not dented up, dinged up. Uh, it does have a uh, hitch. So you do have that if you're uh, towing something behind it. Nice looking vehicle. So we stand under these cars and do these presentations for you guys to try to put you as close to the car as we possibly can and represent this vehicle as honestly and accurately as we possibly can. I encourage all of our buyers, however, to come in person and look at what you're buying firsthand. Um, this way you get to uh, see the vehicle. Drive it, look at it out in the sunshine, look at the interior, check out under the hood. We'll let you do all that, we have no problems. With that being said, 90% of the deals we do are done sight unseen. Um, we take a lot of photos, a lot of videos. We do a, not only an incoming inspection, but we also do an outgoing inspection. That inspection is recorded and you get a copy of it on the keychain when the vehicle arrives. So you have that peace of mind as well. Let's put this 87 Suburban down on the ground, take it off for a drive and show you guys how it runs out and show you the uh, fabulous interior inside of this thing. Inside our 87 Sh Suburban, Chevrolet Suburban, we have a horn. Uh, we have turn signals, driver's side, little green uh, LED there blinking in the speedo. We have passenger side, uh, tack. Uh, the odometer is reading 93 miles, so that's what it reads. 13.8 volts charging, oil pressure, fuels at 35%. Temps reading 24. Now, I don't know if that... We've had the same gauge package in an 89 uh, Chevrolet Blazer that we just sold, and it really wasn't reading properly either because 24 in my mind is times 10, which is 240. I guarantee it's not 240. We just started the truck up, so... Uh, wipers. So what I was getting at with the temperature gauge is I don't know if it's functioning properly. We'll have to check into that. Uh, radio. Cocktails. Today you're listening for Skinner's Sweet Home. Alabama. Does work. Vintage Air. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's working. It's blowing icicles, and we're going to use it today because it's hot in Florida. We shoot into the back seat and show you what we showed you in the showroom earlier. Nice condition. Got your uh, pull down here see if there's yep there's some cup holders in the center there so that's kind of cool here's the flip down tv that we were talking about earlier as well um again i don't know i haven't messed with it how to turn it on unfortunately i don't have time to play with all these vehicles um you know to every last degree we're going to make sure all the important stuff works that the uh the car stops starts steers you know all that fun stuff but i haven't messed with that yet so um, it does have a little microphone up here, probably for some kind of hands-free uh, Bluetooth or something or other. Um, again, we'll find that out later as well. I mentioned this is a manual, so uh, we will be shifting on this test drive. Cup holders here in the front, a little spot for your phone. Speakers down low there. Dash pads in great shape. 
think that's about all we can show you. This is a big vehicle with lots of options, so we're, we're showing you a lot here. What do we have for fuel? 36%, I guess we're good, so let's take this thing on a, on a drive. Well, our speedometer is right on the money. I got Slowpoke McGee in front of me, so we're in a 40 mile per hour zone doing 35. Uh, response on the steering wheel is fantastic. It's moving instantly as soon as you uh, turn this big rig here. Uh, no hands on the wheel. Straight as an arrow. No vibrations whatsoever. No noises inside of here. The uh, air is blowing nice and cold. Again, let go of the wheel. Perfectly straight down the road. Good acceleration. Of course, these uh, full-size Chevrolet SUVs ride absolutely fantastic. The late 80s, early 90s stuff, that's, you know, what I was growing up with. It's friggin' fantastic. What a, what a smooth ride to these things. Great look. I mentioned earlier in the video presentation that, uh, you know, all these uh, popular full-size SUVs nowadays, you know, people are still buying them. They're still desirable. Uh, what's nice about this 87 Suburban is the fact that you know, you buy this thing, and unlike a new one, these things aren't depreciating all the hell like the, the new stuff is. Thing runs out absolutely fantastic. Shoot the speedometer. We got 52 miles. Well, it was 52. I'm down in a little bit right now. 50 miles per hour. We're in a 45 mile per hour zone right here. So the speedometer's functioning. The RPM's functioning. I don't know what's up with the temp gauges in this particular gauge package. The last Blazer I had read 18 the entire time we were driving it. This one's reading 24 the entire time we're driving it. So not sure what's up with the temperature gauge. Going to have to look into that. but. Uh, needless to say, we're not overheating, we're running the AC, the compressor's running, uh, fuel gauge is reading, voltage is reading, smooth ride. Uh, whoever did the, uh, I can talk, whoever did the restoration on this didn't put seatbelts in, so we're going to put those in, we have to put those in, um, you know, for wherever this thing might be going in the uh, United States, going to have to pass a state inspection, uh, going to put seatbelts in it, so... Don't worry about that if you see the photographs that there's no seat belts. We are aware of that. There's holes right here above behind my head where the seat belts are missing. We'll make sure that there's seat belts in the uh, vehicle. Really nice uh, unit here. Even turn that air down a little bit. Free you out of here. Damn. We are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. That's why we're running the air because we are in the... Uh, April here and we are already at 80 degrees, or, or not yet today, but we're approaching it. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you're going to be able to find uh, probably 100 still photos of this vehicle today, as long, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this vehicle is going to include shipping to you in the lower 48 United States. It's also going to include a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. Now, let me tell you what the warranty is good for. It's good for major mechanical breakdowns, so internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. The prices of our vehicles are negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of the vehicle, the warranty drops off and the shipping drops off, and we go ahead and we negotiate you know, the price of the shipping and the price of the warranty. We would love to uh, earn your business, add you to our growing customer list throughout the United States and throughout the world. So uh, check us out today. And check out this 87 Suburb Suburban that probably will not be lingering around very long. Again, it's uh, Hangsters Hot Rods, and we are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.